All right, here's a little tutorial on how to change out uh, inner and outer rocker panels on a uh, 1999 to 2005 Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra. Um, this is the truck that we're working with. Uh, this is an 05 2500 HD. Um, they're all the same pretty much, uh, 1500 to 3500s. Um, this is what we're looking at for starters. We've got a uh, rotted cab corner. Um, and inner and outer rockers um, rotted right out pretty much uh, good up in the front here and then that's when it starts to uh, disappear um, so what we've got is we've got a piece of masking tape we're gonna cut the uh, slip-on style rocker replacement panels um, this little bit of rust that's left is gonna get ground out but there is solid metal still there and I'll show you the replacement pieces that we have. Oh, we have both sides. Inner rocker. Outer rocker. Okay. And then, and again, I'm going to be doing both sides on this truck. Um, so I've got these pieces for the other side as well. I'm not sure if that's the correct side for the uh, rocker uh, cab corner. But we're going to end up uh, just cutting this probably right here and just using this lower section. No need to replace all up in here. It was fine um, on the truck, as you can see just the bottom that's rotted and of course once you start grinding you'll see that it's rotted up behind here probably up to about here uh, even though the paint's still good here you'll see up up in the back side it's it's going to be rusted up to here so what you want to do is bring it up to uh, you know chop some off look up in behind there and then continue chopping to whatever height you need to be to eliminate the rust so there's no rust left I'm also going to be lifting the bed up out of the way to be able to weld um, to get this. So, you've got your cab corner here, um, inner rocker, which is in, in here, and then your outer rocker, the slip on. Um, this is just going to be a reference line that I'm going to cut out right now, and I'll kind of show you uh, each step of the process um, and what's involved in doing so. So, let me uh, step back. So, that's our beginning right there. Also, as you see, the door's got some rust coming out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take care of that and treat that as well. Um, it's gotten to the point right now where I can treat it and prolong it a little bit um, with some, uh, some rust-proofing uh, um, spray of some type. Uh, you know, to get different rust coatings, we're going to go ahead and probably hit it with a little sandblaster get as much of this as we can out it's really hard to get inside of this lip here um, but uh, spray it really really thoroughly and then um, treat it and paint it to prevent the, the rust from continuing on in the future because we're gonna have all new panels down here and we'll be able to get a few more years for sure out of this uh, rusty mess of a truck but they're uh, very common and uh, that's part one I'm gonna start cutting this this panel now and uh, we'll get back to you Got an angle grinder with a thin flap disc cutoff wheel. Uh, this one is a four and a half inch by 0 .04, so four four hundredth or four thousandths, four hundredth of an inch. Um, so I believe that's a 40 gauge, is what they call it, two millimeter thickness. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start cutting.
shot of seeing it over here. Let's see how that is. see inside the I actually have some solid metal inside here so we'll leave that part of the rocker only cut out as much as we need to and as you can see the majority of the rust is always behind that you can't see inside the rocker looks like this even had some type of treatment on it which made it last a little bit longer than some but Still a huge problem with these trucks. Rusty, rusty, rusty. Okay, just gonna trim this off. So that's the part we removed and what that's going to do is leave us a nice lip. I'm going to continue cutting down here near the door and that'll give us a nice lip and we're going to grind all this down to bare metal for welding and I'll grab the rocker. That will allow the rocker to be 
welded right on like so. I'm gonna drill and spot weld a couple of holes all the way down. And then you can uh, finish up with just a little skim coat of uh, body filler in that little bit of a crack so it's a smooth and then uh, and then repaint. You'll never know that it was never know that it was done. You'll have all your fresh metal under here. But of course, we also have to replace the inner rocker before we can do that. So we have something to connect the bottom to, as that's also rotted out. Okay, so we have, as you can see in the back side here, it's a little bit of flaky rust still. We gotta get all this rust off here. And get all the back side of this treated and protected. Otherwise it's just gonna continue to rot on both sides. All the way down. Caught it just in time to actually have enough metal left over to weld to. Um, other than that, we would have had to go up and replace the whole the whole uh, rocker panel right up into here, which requires removing the doors and fenders and all of that stuff. So you want to catch it before it gets to that, which uh, this is just about borderline here. Um, so we'll get the uh, the next stage recorded soon. And. We have cut out almost all, this is the main support that I gotta clean up a little bit, but we've cut out almost all of the rot. We just got this back corner still to cut out. Um, and small pieces all the way around, up to fresh metal um, that we can add to. And um, we're gonna go ahead and, and treat all those exposed panels, both sides, um, with a rust preventative uh, agent. And, uh, and paint as well and a weld through primer once we get welding to try to uh, alleviate an issue in the future. Um, this truck is pretty rusty on a whole so I'm not looking for perfection here. This is kind of a, um, you know to get us to a few more years um, with it looking decent so um, that's the status uh, at this point. A little more rust there to, to pull out and then we'll start adding some fresh metal. <laughs> All right, this is how I like to cut cab corners out where we don't have to cut any more than we need to. Um, you know, we know obviously here is all bad, but like I said, there's a, I'm sure there's a lot of rust that carries up into the back here. There's gonna be a piece of insulation foam in here as well um, that's usually rotted right in between that. So what I like to do is just slice a line up to about where I know that it's gone to it the very least and then uh, peel it open and kind of see what's going on and, and kind of work around from there. So let me go ahead and uh, have it that. Off. And I 
as you can see the back side of this is all rusty as I suspected um, so I'm going to go ahead and chop this section right off here On the back side, Oop, that's hot. You can see definitely rusty on the back side, but then it looks like where this uh, insulation is, we've got some clean metal starting here. So, look pretty good there. Gonna pull a little bit of this out so we've got a little access. Um, luckily, the inner structure looks pretty clean. have to lift the bed up to get access to cutting in here and welding but I just want to try to get the uh, majority of this off to see what we're dealing with see from this side get nice what looks like painted surface no rust and everything but if you look on the back side that's where it's all coming from it's rotting from the back side out to the front so that's why you always got to cut beyond where you think you need to because there's a lot of hidden hidden rust there's actually still a good amount of metal left on this one though so we caught it uh, before it got too too bad I'm sure there's way worse out there the whole idea is basically like this rust is cancer we're just trying to cut out and eliminate as much of the rust as possible because it will spread um, and we try to treat what we can't reach and uh, in hopes of slowing it down um, for the new metal that we put in so this here is kind of rotted on the bottom what I'm going to do is cut this inner section out just this little bit just to eliminate that spot from spreading wire wheel and try to treat what's left of that inner structure. Don't want to pull too much more of it off. Oh, maybe I'll take a little more. Go ahead and clean out the back side, front side, best we can with uh, a wire wheel and spray that to get rid of the, uh, the residual rust. We slow it down. It will never completely go away, but you can definitely catch up and, uh, and gain on it. So we're going to have to, uh, probably going to leave this inner piece. Yeah, we're in good shape here, so I'm probably going to leave this and just cut the cab corner to meet this piece right here to leave that factory seam, so all the body work will be done out here on this edge and blend it in so you can't tell. Alright, we went ahead and jacked the bed up on one side just remove the bolts on this one side put a couple of blocks um, to hold it up uh, just so we can access this area here um, which we're going to need to do some cutting and a little bit of body work here uh, for the remainder of this cab corner so I'm going to cut the rest of this out and then we can start adding some, uh, some new pieces get you guys into a 
area where you can see. And you can see the factory spot welds are here to hold on to the inner structure. So I'm probably going to just do a straight line from here. attach the new metal to here so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. that outer panel. We should be able to get into those spot welds. Some, this is the inner structure here, left over. Let me just trim that up to make it look simple. as much of that rust out as we can.
Okay, so our new cab corner, we're gonna cut and trim to match this, come right down to this corner, and this will be the strength to connect it to the body, and that'll come down and connect to the new lower rocker, or inner rocker, when that uh, gets attached down here. So now it's a matter of just fitting everything back together and welding it. All right, after some trimming and cutting, we took this new cab corner, all the cut off the piece that we didn't need off of it, did some fine tuning and trimming, removing all of the excess pieces of the cab corner, uh, leaving, getting all the rust out. Um, this still has to all be treated, of course, and before this is welded in, but we basically just uh, get this to line up. This is going to end up getting spot welded right here to the structure, welded along the seam, and then uh, right over to here and down. Now I'm not going to put it in until I get the inner rocker in um, because this is going to kind of block that process off but uh, this is the first step in reshaping um, and uh, re-welding uh, re this corner back in. So just wanted to show you where I was at with that. A um, little bit of fine tuning left to go but for the most part we're all set. Um, get this all treated before we cover it up and, and uh, painted so it won't, won't rust. So this is kind of the aftermath of cutting and getting all the old rust out. It's a nasty thing if you can treat the rockers before it gets to this in your current truck now, do it. Um, I'm on Cape Cod and uh, any trucks that have plowed or see the winter pretty much just get, uh, get this nasty. Nasty gangly rust. The truck only has 130,000 on it. Um, so I've been putting some time and effort into it. It's actually in uh, pretty respectable condition and still runs great. So we've uh, already put a new bed on it and uh, treated the back of the frame. As you can see here, that was all flaky rust. I did that a few months ago, um, kind of working our way up. I've got the scaly rust off this, the frame on the bottom there. Um, haven't treated it yet, um, just the first stage in that. So kind of working my way towards the front of the truck. Just kind of doing a little bit um, as I go here and there, um, trying to eliminate this. But you can see my horrible jagged cuts. That's all going to get trimmed up uh, when I place the uh, inner rocker in place. Um, I'm going to be chopping a lot of that off too that I don't need. I'm just going to use the section that I need that is basically going to give us the new fresh metal that comes down to here with the uh, flange for, to accept the outer rocker panel. Um, you know, some people just throw the outer rocker panel on it over the, the mess and um, all that's going to do is in a year or two it's just going to start rotting around it and through it and then you're just going to be left with more of a mess. So you kind of have to really go in to the, the, the start of where the rust is and eliminate it and then work your way back out. All right, on to the inner rocker. <clears throat> Went ahead and treated all this inner stuff that uh, we can't get to afterwards to treat to stop it from rusting. That's all set. Um, just took a wire, a wire wheel and got all the rust off and um, used the uh, rust performer rust converter. Uh, had pretty good luck with this. Seems to hold out pretty pretty good. At least slows the rust down. Um, but I've used this on a lot of different projects. It seems to work out well. So what I did is I put the um, complete inner rocker up against the old one where I trimmed it off and made a mark with a sharpie and cut above the mark. Granted it's not a uh, fancy line but it gave me a reference point to cut. So basically this bottom section is what's going to get welded on which is the, the lower part of the the whole uh, inner rocker which is what rots out and this is also what connects to the bottom of the inner rocker or the outer rocker and gives you uh, something to connect to. So I'm just going to um, overlap this by about a half an inch and um, weld it onto the clean existing metal that's still on the truck. It's a, a part that you'll never see so it doesn't really matter what it looks like it's just for structure. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you how that works. So basically, I've got this backwards. Basically, this comes up into position. Hard to do it with one hand. Something 
along those lines and it overlaps by about a half an inch so we don't have too much metal overlapping that could rust again and that's going to create the new edge for the outer rocker so i'm going to go ahead and attach this and, and uh, start welding it up and that'll give us our new um, connecting points for the cab corner as well as the uh, outer rocker mocked up in place uh, what I did is measure down from the bottom of the down to this lower point on the left hand side, the right height where everything's going to come down and meet uh, you know within, within a, you know quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch would be fine you'd never tell with the naked eye but this here we've got um, Got it just mocked up. What we're going to do now is pull it down, um, grind that metal clean, and we're going to go ahead and, and run some uh, beads of weld all the way down um, to attach this. And then on the other side, the side that you see, you won't see the weld. There'll just be a seam. And I'm going to go ahead and use um, some seam sealer or some type of agent like that um, just to stop uh, water from getting inside there and just to uh, finish it up maybe hit it with some undercoating at the end and you won't even tell that that's been replaced and then the rest of the parts will uh, connect to that all right we got the inner rocker just tacked up uh, pardon the ugly welds um, something that you don't see it's going to be on the inside of the rocker anyways um, we hit it with some um, weld through primer as well so we now have a good solid lip to uh, to affix the uh, outer rocker to. This is the panel here. I've got this prepped out here. So basically, what happens is this is going to slip on like so, and um, meet right up with the old panel there. In the back, we've got a and then underneath here. have a nice new panel to, uh, to meet up to here. There we go. So here's the, uh, the new rocker, outer rocker, and that's in place. We're going to go ahead and um, spot weld, just drill holes along this whole rocker and weld it to the inner rocker that we just added for strength. And um, that's it, that's all there is to it. On this side here is where the patch, the inner rocker patch is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wire wheel that all down really good and undercoat it and cover it up really nice so there's no more rust that gets in here. And we pretty much have solved the rust, the rust issue. I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and show you a uh, finished product after I weld this back into place. Um, all I'm going to do is match this up right here as close as possible and then do a couple of tacks all the way down this panel onto the old rocker. I'm going to fill in a little piece of metal right here but the rust is all pretty good. And That'll end up uh, so you won't even be able to tell that it was done. One thing you want to make sure you do is put the weld through primer on the inside of this rocker panel before you add it in there because then you won't be able to get to it. And then you'll just have this um, treated metal um, which will start to rust out pretty quickly I assume. So what I'm going to go ahead is uh, wipe this down um, with a, uh, a solvent and then prime the inside. There'll be some spots where it burns off. Um, you just can't help it. And then in the very end, I'm probably going to um, spray once it's all done inside the open end before I put this rocker in and uh, kind of paint the inside just to stop it from rusting in the future. So that's where we're at now. With the new inner panel in place and the uh, 
rocker or the uh, outer rocker ready to put on and then the cab corner will uh, get welded into place and I'll show you the finished product with uh, each of those done. Another little tip that you want to do is go ahead and um, drill for your spot welds through the panel before you put it up under the truck just makes it easier to get to it. Um, and I went ahead and uh, weld through primer the inside of this panel already. I'm probably going to hit it again but I just drilled all these for the spot welds and then you take a larger bet uh, just really quickly to deburr the edges just so it sits up flush on the panel underneath there nicely um, But this is pretty much ready to install at this point All right, here is the Rocker tacked in The outer rocker you can see all the uh, welds through the uh, spot welds and then here's the seam with my horrible um, ugly welder job I just have this cheap piece of crap welder but um, a little bit of grinding and touch up and um, a skim coat of body filler and it'll look fine um, unfortunately uh, I don't have the money right now to get a nicer welder maybe I should now that I'm doing a lot more of this type of stuff but anyways yeah this is the uh, end result and then uh well not the end result but i've tacked in along the whole edge i'm gonna clean off all the uh burn marks of course and then i gotta trim this and then uh meet the cab corner all together here um at the very end i'll show you that in a bit okay you got the cab corner on welded just got some metal filler to fill in some of the inconsistencies on the welds um, bottom is all finished got the cab corner in just a little more grinding and do a layer of seam sealer in this um, in the seam right in here and uh, just sand and paint and that's pretty much it I'll go ahead and update when the uh, when it's sanded down and pretty much ready for primer or once it's in primer I guess I'll show another picture before it's painted and uh, at some point I'm gonna grind out this rust and when I paint the bottom I'm probably gonna bring it up to this body line maybe because we got a ding and some mess ups on this door so maybe just call it to here paint from from here up to here I'll just redo the phone number on the bottom of the door because I'd like to repaint the bottom of the door as well and then I'll stop right here. So this, 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 up to this line right here, we'll get fresh paint to make it look uh, as close to the, the rest of the truck as possible.